Hi, I'm Pat, and my dog Samson. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet Samson. My dog has allergies. He's had them all his life since he was a puppy. And I am at the stage now learning more all the time on how to care for him. He just turned nine years old, and in the past year, we had to go to a dermatologist to take care of him. So in the process, I learned that I needed, because the, he had an infection that was so bad, it was raw on his paws, that we had to uh, do a wash every day for at least two months. In that time period, it started to heal, and now I'm on a maintenance program with Dr. McTeer at Healing, Healing Hands Animal Hospital. So they called the other day and wanted to know how I do the bathing for Sam, and I tried to explain, and in the process, I said that maybe we could make a video, and so here we are at our house to show you. So, preparation. It's very important to be prepared before you take the dog in the tub. So I'm going to show you what I do. First of all, you're going to be dealing with bleach. So you want to have clothes that are old and you can get bleach on. That's number one. I like to prepare the space that I'm going to take him, which is the bathroom, and also my bedroom because he has to dry for a half an hour after I do the wash. So I have three towels, six towels, three for the bathroom and three for my bedroom. And I have all this set up before I even get him in the tub. Preparing the solution. It's recommended to put two tablespoons of bleach into a jug. I use a water jug. I use uh, regular bleach. I tried natural bleach and it did not do the job. So please be sure to get regular. I put two tablespoons of bleach, I go to the kitchen sink, then I fill this jug with water after the bleach. Put the cap on, shake it up a little. Then you want to prepare yourself with treats because you will be in there with him for a while. The shampoo itself has to stay on at least 10 minutes. So I have frozen green beans that I uh, microwave. The reason why uh, it was recommended that green beans are a good treat for dogs with allergies. So this is why I have this. Then I have some of his kibbles, which I put in, I put a little bit at a time. I have a towel that I put on the side of the tub. So we play with these, the green beans and the uh, kibbles. In the preparation also, you will, it has helped me to have a pitcher because in handling this jug is very heavy. So I devised a pitcher that's plastic, I won't break, and I pour half in at a time, half full, into this pitcher. When you're doing your procedure, you want to have rubber gloves on your hands because of the bleach. So that's why I have the gloves. So I do them. I only use these with the bleach. I do not use them with the shampoo. So the way the procedure is, is uh, you get Phytovet C 4% shampoo. This was recommended to me by a dermatologist veterinarian. And you can get it at, uh, hopefully at Healing Hands, they'll have it. Another uh, preparation is to have a clock. I bring my clock in there with me because I'm going to time how long I'm going to be keeping the shampoo on. 
So that's another thing. So first what you're going to do is wet his paws. And Sam has uh, sore elbows also. So I do his elbows and his paws. And I uh, make a good lather for the uh, paws and the, um, the, the side. With Sam, another difficulty with him is that he had torn ligament. <laughs> Three years ago. And he has a steel plate in his leg. So we have to deal with this. So because of that, he has a hard time standing. So I entertain him while he's in there. Actually, he enjoys this. So first, you want to lather up and put the soap on. And you're going to let it stay on for 10 minutes. After that, you give a good rinse, and I'm saying sometimes the shampoo will go under his belly or on the side, so you want to really get all that shampoo off. You do not want that to be in his, on his fur. After I've done that, I get a towel and I wipe his belly and any part. I do not touch the part on the knee or the paws. That stays with the thing with the uh, water on it. So I do that and then uh, I get my gloves on, prepare to do the bleach solution. So I put the water half in there and I do one paw at a time. One, one side and then another side, back and forth Probably it's about four times. And you want to be quick because this burns. So we want to get it on quick but and keep talking to him. Keep I also sing to him, so <laughs> there's you have to be there for him. That's real important. So after we're finished that and in between I'm giving him him treats. Um, the most time that I give the treat is while we're standing there for the 10 minutes with the shampoo on. So when we're all done, we have to leave the bleach on the paws and the elbows. You do not wipe that off. So you have to have towels on the bathroom floor because when he comes, when I, I get the leash for this, and I, he comes out of the tub, he's very good, he shakes. And then I, I uh, take him out of the bathroom, take him in my bedroom, and he gets settled on. There's towels in my bedroom now where he's going to be he's going to be drying for at least a half an hour. And I always put the the cone on because you do not want him to be licking the bleach. So that's about what, what I do. The knee. Oh. And also, I have bad knees. <laughs> I have arthritis. So I have a knee pad for myself because often I'm going to have to kneel down. You have to get down and, and wipe the uh, shampoo. So be careful yourself. Take it, as I say, preparation for this is very important. I also have two towels on the floor for myself, and I keep an extra towel, small towel, for him in case I need it. So. Now we're going into the bedroom to see how I place the towels before I do the bath. Okay, place one on each spot. That way he can find a spot where he's going to be comfortable. He gets very relaxed after this. He actually enjoys it.
it's important not to have it really cold, have it kind of warm because you're you're dealing with raw skin and you want to really and with bleach, so you want to be aware of that. And I find doing it in the kitchen, I don't have to be uh, breathing in the bleach. I can just stand here at a level that's comfortable for me. So the two tablespoons and having the water go in mixes them together. And just mix it a little. Rub your bottle off. Now we're all set up uh, in the bathroom and ready uh, for Sam to come soon. We have our clock here. We have our treats. We have our bleach here, our pitcher, our towels. And the shampoo is here. I also recommend that this, this type of uh, shower head that you can uh, put on your dog is very easy because you have control of this. So when I put that on you will see the shower works very well for that. When I'm finished uh, bathing him I close this and put this up. You do not want to have any shampoo going anywhere else. It's really important to watch what's going on with your dog. I want to tell you that this, doing this procedure has become a fun thing for Sam. It's been helpful to him, but he really enjoys the process. So please watch as we invite him to come in the tub. Sam, let's go boy. Good boy. Come Sam. Good boy. Good boy. Aw, good boy. Let's go. Come Sam. Good job. Hop. Get in there. Come on, let's go. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come, babe. Let's go. Good boy. Hop. Good job. Good boy. Good boy, Sam. Stay. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. You did good, Samuel. Oh, he's a good boy. You don't want to keep the water absolutely cold. I, I put a little, a little warmth in it. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. You're a good boy. So you first rinse with the water. Get the fur wet. Now I leave the water on a little bit because I mix a little water in with the shampoo. It seems to lather up better. Alright, stay there. Good boy. Good boy, Sam. You're a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Good boy, Sam. He's a baby boy. Are you a good boy? He says, I'm a good boy, Mom. I'm a good boy, yeah. Now I lift up the foot to get the paws. And he's very good at that, holding it up for a minute while I lather it up. So you want to get a good lather and get in there for where those allergies are. And the elbow. So you coordinate what you can, what he can handle. Good boy. Okay, so we're lathered up. 
gotta, I gotta wash my hands. And get over here. I wash my hands because of the soap. I want to stay away from him and his mouth. So you have to use every precaution here. And I put the shampoo away when I'm done so he doesn't have to come after that. And I put a little towel here for his treats. Okay. So now we'll begin just entertaining him for 10 minutes. So it is 10 of 3 and we'll be going till 3 o'clock. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Now if it falls on the floor, I usually wash it off. So because Good job. He loves his green beans. Good job. He doesn't even know that I bathed him now because he knows he's going to get green beans. You're a good boy, Sammy. Yeah. Whoop. We just missed. Now this this is good when he misses because that makes more time go. So. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with this. It's not a dragged out. At the beginning, it's been was difficult, but now it's fun. You just need about an hour's worth of time to, to uh, stay with this, with the preparation and, and uh, taking your time. Good boy. So now I'll give him a few kibbles. I just give him a couple at a time. We, we uh, mix it up here. Good boy, Sam. There was a time when I would toss the kibbles to him, but then they went in the tub and we had the shampoo in there, so I stopped doing that. And this works good as far as has, you want to keep his, him occupied while you're waiting on the soap. Okay. You are a good boy and I'll always love you. You are so happy all of the day. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my Samson away. You are a good boy and I'll always love you. You are so happy all of the day. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my Sammy away. The shampoo has been on for 10 minutes now, so we're ready for the rinse of the uh, paws and the elbows. So we get down and turn this on again. I go from side to side and you have to rub in and, and loosen up the uh, shampoo to get it to dissolve it. As I say, sometimes it goes underneath the, uh, the front and I, and I have to rinse that. It's important to get the soap out because you don't want to have that 
in his uh, on his fur. So I go from foot to foot. if the shampoo is, is gone, I try to massage it a little. If you're just starting to do this, it could be that it's going to be very red when you're washing the first time. Often it does look worse than better when you do this. Because you see the skin, how irritated it is when you have the water on it. But don't get discouraged, it takes time. He's very good about moving back and forth. You're in control of the animal. And this is a good uh, space here to keep moving him. And he's very, very good. So we're about done the rinse. Good boy. Good boy. So now we're going to wipe off those areas that are on the top. We're not going to touch the uh, infected areas. We're going to do under the belly where I got wet, where I was shampooing. Get that nice and dry and you leave the other parts wet, air drying. Okay. Now what we want to do is put the towels on the floor. We're preparing to be ready for him to come out. And at the same time, we're going to be doing the bleach solution. So. I try to get lined up for that. You stay, Sam. Good boy. So I put my gloves on. Again, you have to watch the bleach solution for yourself and the dog. You do not want to have the bleach solution go in his eyes or yours. So I take my time doing this. And I do about, as I say, about a half a pitcher at a time because water is heavy. And we go one leg at a time. And you do the back, and then the paw, and then the leg. He's very good about it. He knows. So I do one at a time, about halfway. Good boy, Sammy. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. You will see how red, when you're doing this, you can see how irritated your dog is underneath a dry fur that you usually see. Good boy! He tends to raise his paw up, so I have to keep watching to make sure I get the solution on. Good boy! Good job! As I'm, I don't know if I explained in the beginning that um, we are now under a maintenance program with Dr. McTeer in that uh, I bathe him once a week for maintenance and prevention. And if I do it, it does work, but it's, it takes, you have to write, write, make time for it. So now we're going to have him come out. Usually I get the leash for this. Good boy. Remember you do not uh, dry the paws or the uh, elbows because you want it to air dry. Good boy. Good 
job. Okay, you want to shake? Good boy. Now when we're done this procedure, I give him a few kibbles. He knows that he's going to be getting the kibbles. <laughs> he has a little routine here. Good boy, Sam. You did good. So now I take him out and we walk around a little. Over here. Shake. Good boy. Good boy. So now he knows he's going in the bath in the bedroom and he's going to lay down for a while. Good boy. Okay, Sam. And this is when I put the cone on because we don't want him to lick the paws. And he will find a spot and rest for a while now. Good boy. You did good, Sam. Good boy. Yeah. So this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best with your dog. <laughs> Please be encouraged because once you learn how to take care of your dog, it's wonderful. He's doing very well now. So. The best part of this procedure is the happiness of the dog. Sam is totally relaxed and happy, so we wanted to show you that he did very well.